Welcome to MTV Cribs, where we talk about the best cribs of the biz, you know what I'm saying? So right now we're going to go to Southwest Gecko's crib with the topic of the week, the setup. What's up, y'all? I'm Isaiah Franklin, uh, the owner of Southwest Gecko's, and right now I'm going to bring you to the cribs that make you want to live. So right now we got Sandy and our other home girl. Where she at? There she is, the beautiful Bell Sun Glow Enigma that we call Kasai. Uh, that is actually a Japanese word for fire, because that's what we feel she is. And hopefully y'all can kind of see her little heart on her back right there. It's kind of a weird shape and heart. almost looks like a triangle, but it's definitely creased up in there. Um, for the setup, we usually have the 10 by 17,000 paper towel, and then we have... Uh, this is their lay box. Actually, what we use is the sphagnum moss, the finest of the fine. Um, and we keep the heat um, in all of our racks, or our cribs, I should say, at about 90 degrees. Um, we use... And then we have the normal crib where they keep it residing in the high-style lifestyle. Uh, we just keep a... Uh, what are these called? Gen Pack 4D. Uh, this is the best type of house to put them under. They just live in style. The best type of style you can ever find with a food dish with the gourmet. Got the gourmet mealworms coming from the best of the best. If I can remember the name of the best of the best, <laughs> which is um, Rainbow Mealworms. They keep them sparkly fresh. And then we have over here. This one is our grand mansion. I mean, this mansion is so high life, you don't even know what to do with yourself. Usually we keep a little three-story crib up in here. They usually like to all lay it down up in there. That's where they usually sleep. But we got the main rock where we have our G Project Red Stripe uh, Heifer Raptor. She's a white and yellow. Very beautiful female. She pulls in all the men, but she says, heck no, I'm only going to take one man at a time. So she's been residing with a male that's poking his head out right there. Um, and he's a G Project Red Stripe Het for Eclipse. So they're definitely going to be making some real hot and spicy babies this, uh, this uh, season. And for the setup for here, we have the lay box for the females that we have residing with him in his crib, living in luxury. Kind of a little nasty because he has so many females, a little freak. Um, we have the water dish and then uh, the millworm dish. And then as far as racks go, over here. as far as racks go, this came from Reptile Basics. And it has um, eight tubs, as you can see. We like to keep the um, a little stickers on here to show uh, what, the, uh, what we have sitting in there, their genetics, all that type of stuff. Um, and then we have this rack over here we actually built ourselves. Um, we call this the Tower of Power, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, it, we have the flex watt heat tape in the back. And this one holds actually about 18 tubs. And all of our tubs we've gotten from uh, the containerstore.com. So let's show you how the hatchlings live. I mean, their cribs is something else. I'll tell you, let's see. I guess we're going to show you the G Red Stripe Eclipse that hatched out from... Uh, two of the breeders that we had in the mansion. This guy is so beautiful. Very chill and docile. I mean, he just max on all the ladies. I can't wait for him to be old enough. Uh, he's snake eyes, 50-50 eclipse. Very beautiful guy. Has the orange dots on his head. Um, but the setup's pretty simple for in here. Uh, some breeders like to use um, the, meat, the meat plates or whatever you want to call them. Um, I just use these. These come from these. Uh, these come from uh, the actually Dollar General. They're like a dollar for thirty of them. They're easy to replace all the time. Uh, very cheap. And then we have the folded paper towel underneath. Um, but that's pretty much it. So again, thank you MTV Cribs for coming to Southwest Geckos. Thank you all to the fans. Make sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com/slash. SWGFL, standing for Southwest Geckos, Florida. Um, and I hope you all have a super awesome gecko-tastic day. Thank you.